2.13. It's dark outside. It ain't 2.13 in the afternoon. Good morning, YouTube. Ooh, good. This is what we do on the days when we're going to clear water and we're going to do a rival. We have to leave at 2.15 in the morning. three hours away so that's what we have to do um usually those guys start arriving about 5 45 6 o'clock some of them get there a little bit earlier than that the ones i guess overachievers um, so we're gonna vlog style this one like we did fan fest i tried doing the uh, gators on sunday uh i did pretty good i haven't done the recap video for that yet uh we got the stuff set to the side maybe i'll do that the next couple days um Got around 40 autographs on Sunday down there. Um, a lot of the guys the Gators have, they have a bunch of guys with perfect end cards and Team USA stuff. So did well there. Um, was trying to vlog that one, but one of the locals that's there, he's a little bit slow. I mean, nothing against people that are like that. Um, but he just, he wouldn't quit talking and um, just kept getting in the way where I was trying to do stuff and it's kind of a tight space where you have to get to uh, get in there to get anything signed it was me and me and Russ who like who lives down there who likes to come up to the oh, excuse me. more proof that it's 2 15 in the morning um, Russ that lives down there has season tickets he comes up here to some of the shrimp games and the Daytona games um, and then this other guy that, like I say, he just was a little bit slow and it was just, it was kind of, it was too much work and hassle and haggle um, to try to do it. So my apologies for there. Next time I go down there, I'll try and get you guys some footage. I did a little bit of videoing uh, while I was down there, but it just like I say, it's not enough to throw together on video. So that one's going to give you the old fashioned IP recap video whenever I get around to it. But anyway, right, we're about that day. We're doing Phillies today. Uh, they are in full squad workouts. Most teams are in full squad workouts, I believe, as of now. Uh, their first full squad workout was yesterday. It apparently was a zoo from some of the pictures that I saw. So we're hoping today is not so bad. I'm thinking it's a Tuesday. Um, yesterday being a holiday and a lot of people were off work. I'm thinking contributed some of that. So I'm hopeful that today the crowd will not be as bad. Um, they have opened up actual stadium they open it up around 11 11 30 you can walk in there and go watch guys in there um, the problem is is now at spectrum field they have netting from foul pole to foul pole there so and it's not where you can put anything under it or uh, and the netting not big enough that you can put a card through the netting so I don't think I'll probably be going inside to do anything to watch um, probably would just stay out at the complex where they do the practicing out there, bad practices and whatnot. And after the major leaguers are done, there are a bunch of minor leaguers that are already there. Um, so I'm told uh, quite a few guys with cards. Some of, their bigger, some of their bigger minor leaguers are there. So I'll try and maybe pick some of those guys off as well. I'm going to try to do as best I can with the video footage. So I've got a new, I'm holding this camera right now with this little clip. It's killing my hands. So. Um, I've got a new backpack I'm going to try out. You guys let me know how you feel, what you think about this. I was trying to find a backpack strap. Couldn't find anything in town. A couple people looked at me like I was crazy when I'd go to the stores. And a couple people told me that it was an online only thing. So, um, I need a new backpack anyway. So, I bought a brand new backpack that has this strap thing on it. Um, the backpack itself, I'm not sure I like. It's got a, it's kind of limited on room, but it, looked pretty good last night when I was uh, doing some of the video for this so I'm not sure how much video I'll get this morning because like I say initially I'll set the cotton up me ever <laughs> hopefully initially it'll be dark down there there's no lighting where they come in at where you have to go to get them now we'll go straight um, so I might not get any footage early this morning so it may be um, trying to get it 
after the sun comes up uh, before we get anything good so guys stay tuned enjoy the ride we're on the way to st augustine to pick up paul and he's gonna go with me today and then uh we'll get you guys here in a minute you get paul and then we'll uh head to clearwater so we'll uh we'll see you when we get there y'all take care enjoy the ride see ya Okay, so for some reason my battery was dead, so I didn't give you the guys the obligatory, hey, we're rolling up here, but anyway, we're here. You can't see squad deadly poop because it is 5.50 in the morning. Players parking lot right here. This is where we're going to be standing over here where this fence is. I'm not going to be doing any video in this morning because you're not going to see anything. Uh, so I'll do some videoing later on, but anyway, we're here. Stay tuned.
been a while since I've been back over there. Has it? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't live in Florida anymore, so there trying to get back to the Yeah. 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 I, I saw uh, just pictures from it now, and it looks so much different than even when I went there just about four years ago. You know, like, there's so much traffic here now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I lived a lot when I was going over there, so yeah, that's even worse now. Hey, man. I don't have any. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, the chances. Especially when we always got him down there. This complex probably my early years to their stuff and then you know there you go. Are we waiting on MLB guys or MILB guys? Let me ask you, have any buddy? Thank you. 
If you want to do them all, it's fine. I just make sure you hear everybody. Appreciate it, thank you very much. pictures. Goslin, DD, Mustang was sad. Segura, DD, Real Muto, uh, Scotty Jetpacks. My majors and minors separate because it's just too big to fit in one book. Yeah, yeah too big right there. Yeah, but then sometimes you see the guys in the minors and he's actually in white. Yeah, but it's, the not, it's not the end of the but world. But you got him in the box, yeah. right? Got the minors I, the these box. are just extras. Oh, okay. I don't you got the minors guys here, though, right? Yeah, the minors are right there. I, I was killing them today. Where you were here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe seven right there. Yeah. Walker. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Chances are he comes over. Yeah. Slow to nine. I mean, sign's good. I just wonder why they'll do all the way. Yeah, right there. Kind of yeah. hanging out. He'll probably come over and do like two or three people. Depends on how long we do with him. Time for one? Well, we get that, we'll All right, thank you, sir. Do you have time for one? After okay, thanks. Oh, okay. Thanks, 
shitty thing. <laughs> Thanks again, Logan. Who'd you get over here? Harrison. Of oh. course, they came right here. Yeah, of course, I came right here. Ronald! Ronald! Thank you.
So the Phillies are done with their practices. We're gonna go do the lot. Joe and Joe and Paul are sitting here staring at me like I'm stupid and talking to myself, which I guess I could be. I got my guy. You got your guy. Yeah, I got your guy too. That's okay. And then I got everybody else. Uh, this this guy right here to the right is the responsible for the JT Black Sharpie fiasco. There's already like 10 people up here, so this is not gonna be pleasant. So. We're going to go up here and get some guys leaving and then come back and do the minor leaguers that are here and see what we can, uh, see what we can do. So, uh, keep watching. Hopefully these videos turn out. We've got a lot of editing to do, uh, for the next couple of days. So, stay tuned. Looks like that's that was, yeah, that was storing. I'm not sure who this was that's coming out now. Oh, I'll get that one done. It's a rookie. Mike, Thank you. 
Everything he puts out is like that or that. I actually got a pretty good flagship right here for him. Yeah, that's pretty good order for him. the other one that walked out was Spencer. I didn't. Well, okay. It was not a face that I initially picked up. I don't think, yeah, I don't think so either. That'd be, uh,
boy to sit down for a minute. I'll freaking back just, just toast him. I'm trying to figure out who anybody, I know Guthrie's right there. I'm trying to figure out who anybody is. Are you on the camera? Yeah. No, I'm talking to this guy. I'm talking, I'm talking to YouTube. I'm talking to my subscribers. My loyal, awesome, super subscribers. All 356 of them. I'll do this for you. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out who it is. I, just, I know that's Guthrie, but I'm not sure anybody else is. Yeah, I think so. You're the one that knows him better than I do. I've only seen him once. <laughs> I wasn't the one that stopped him earlier. I stopped uh, Jamari. Everybody let Jamari walk by. I stopped him because y'all told me that's who it was. Oh, yeah, we got Randolph over here on the right. Yeah. Somebody broke one. If it's Dalton Guthrie, I'm claiming it. I'm going to throat punch somebody. You see that the, uh, the boys in front of me are fighting a broke bat. Somebody that don't even know. <laughs> Said that like six times. He's on the right. Yeah. Got three now on the far right over here. Standing by the bucket. Randolph's over here on the right in between. Yes, you should. He would have signed it. I'm thinking about getting this Rawlings ball out of here and see if I'll spank it and put CWS champs on it. But it's a MLB ball, so I don't really want to do that. Spring. It's my last two, so appreciate that. Too. Not this year, Ed. Not this year, Ed.
Oh, what is going on YouTube? I've been sitting here slaving away at uh, editing that video from yesterday. It was a lot of fun going with Paul and Joe. Um, hope you guys enjoyed all that. I didn't get everything obviously on camera. Some of it was just, oh crap, let me go get my book open and get it real quick. It was just kind of in a hurry. Um, so you didn't see everything there. But hopefully it kind of gave you an idea of how it works at Clearwater. And just really spring training in general. That's just kind of how it is. But um, the Phillies used to be really, really good. Used to not be that many people there. And then they got good. And now there's a bunch of people there. So anyhow, we'll go through real quick and show you guys everything I did get. Um, since obviously you didn't see it all in the video. And I apologize for some of the video angles. That was my first time using this backpack um, that I bought. And it's got a clip on it for the GoPro. So I just used that and clipped the uh, GoPro on there. It looked like it worked pretty good for the parking lot portion of it and a little bit of the practice fields, but it wasn't the best thing in the world. But again, you know, we'll learn and learn and move on. So without further ado, we'll get this oversized stuff out of the way. This is one of these big box toppers from 2015 draft, I guess. Yeah, this one's numbered to 50. Anyway, this is like the base version. Uh, Cornelius Randolph was a first round draft pick in 2015 of the Phillies. So that looks really cool. I'm not sure how good it looks on camera, but that's pretty sweet. And I got this done yesterday. Uh, I think I said in the video it looks really good compared to most autographs that he gives out, and it really does. That's pretty nice. So for Hazley, um, he has a pretty just janky autograph, I guess you could say. You'll see it here on some of the cards. It's not as good. Well, here, this gives you an idea. That's his normal. This, I already had this Hazley on here. And, of course, this is uh, Spencer Howard. That's not much better. That's pretty much a, that's a joke. But Spencer Howard's now like one per, I guess he's whatever. And, uh, I mean, he's a good prospect. Just he needs to stay healthy. And then King Green on the uh, top 100, 5 by 7 Got him in the morning. So he gave me a good auto. So happy with that. Old Scotty Jetpacks. Let's show you the minor league stuff first. <clears throat> Got Aaron Brown. First rounder I picked from last year. Well, year before last. Alec Baum, Heritage Miners. Matt Verling on two. He's one of the ones in the video. Jalen Ortiz. I, I got him right at the end. Um, I forgot. I thought I hit it, and, I, and then I realized it didn't go through. So, anyway, Jalen Ortiz, one of two. Um, Paul, that one's yours. Those were not, not the Mayor Paul. Paul R sent me some stuff. I didn't get a lot done, but um, that one's yours. We got Bryson Stott, three of five the first time, two of two the second time. Got him on a chrome and on a paper. Paul, that one's yours. And that one's yours too. And then New York Penn League, and then, uh, another paper. Jamari Baylor, super nice kid, on a one. Sean Williams is a coach in the uh, system. He used to play for the in the Rays, obviously. It's a Charlotte Stone Crabs card. Um, you saw this one get signed in the video. And poor Kyle Young, he got mobbed. 4-4. Uh, four four. There was a lot of people there yesterday. Even for it being the Tuesday after President's Day, and, you know, people be going back to work. But anyway, and then Krenis ran off on uh, three more because he had him on 4-4. Four four. Still quite a quite a sizable crowd yesterday. Yeah, put those over there. Now, these are the major leaguers. <sighs> Joe, 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 Joe. So maybe you could hear in the video. I don't know. The audio was a little bit light. It was a little bit of a breezer yesterday, and plus the cam, me having the camera a little bit further away. Uh, so Joe had a Real Muto jersey he wanted signed. He wanted it done in black. And so he handed him a black Sharpie, and then Real Muto decided he wasn't changing Sharpies. He was going to run with a black. So it's right here. If you, hard to see. It's a darker card. But JT Real Muto is not an easy autograph. He does not sign very much. It's very, very little. Uh, but he ran, ran with a uh, black Sharpie. So it is what it is. But GT Real Muto 118 Heritage. If it had been the 19, it wouldn't have been so bad. It's a little bit lighter card. But anyway. Uh, Neil Walker to two of three, 18 and the 19. Zach Eflin on two. Paul, this one's yours. Uh, Adonis Medina, one of one. 
I laughed at this one because Jojo Romero was doing like pages two years ago. The last time I was down there, I was I was killing Jojo Romero. And yesterday he did one of seven. I almost laughed at him. <laughs> so okay, dude. Whatever. Uh Drew Storm, one of four. Apparently he's not the easiest of autographs either. So I was told by a few people down there. Uh Didi Gregorius, this is one that I really was excited about getting and wanted. And uh, one that I had to just, oh crap, let me get my book going. Uh, I wasn't able to get this one on video. This was some, uh, out of the practice fields. I got Addison Russ. He's on this triple um, Heritage Minor Leagues. Mike Matuk, who used to be one per and was strict about it, did two of two. Uh, 18 Heritage and then the Rays. Uh, 15 Heritage card. Had to get that one done for being a Rays fan. Uh, this was another one Hazley did. This is the normal Hazley autograph. So I got Hazley and then Derek Call. Derek Call, you saw. Oh, you saw Hazley too in the video. So. We got Josh Harrison on one. Aaron Nola on one. Always signs. Such a nice guy. Uh, nice highlight in the morning. Reese Hoskins on one. Those are both short prints too. Both the Nola and the uh, Hoskins for 19. For sure. Cole Irvin, who um, I hate that I didn't get on there. I actually gave Daniel a shout out uh, with Cole, and he was said, hey, no, make sure you tell him. I said, hey, next time you talk to him. Uh, but Cole Irvin on two. And then Hazley, um, a couple more, or one more here. He did three all together. Uh, Trevor Kelly, who was like me, gave me a funny look. I was like, yeah, this is you, right? Oh, yeah, that is. <laughs> he signed it. And then Logan Forsyth, five of five. 13, a 17, an 18, a 16, and another 17. He always signs everything. Logan Forsyth is one of the best signers in baseball. It's very good. Super nice. So that is it. Like I say, it's a 48, I think, is what the total came out to. Not a terrible day. Uh, first, step, That's my first spring training in two years because I didn't get to go last year since uh, we had Deacon. So... All in all, happy with the results from yesterday. Um, let's say we got Hoskins and Ola, um, Didi Gregorius. I got those big cards signed, five by sevens. I finished the duel. Got King Ring on there. We got Nola. What did I say? Nola Hoskins, Didi, Real Muto. Real Muto is really, honestly, not a very easy autograph. Um, he he just doesn't he just doesn't do it very often. So that was a that was a good one. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I I'm not done quite done editing the video yet. I went in and shooting this app before I go in and actually really, really go in and do the bulk editing. Right now I'm going through the clips and just kind of labeling the clips and putting them so I have an order to the madness. Um, so I'm not sure how long this is going to end up running, but hopefully you guys enjoyed everything. This is like eight minutes long, so I'm thinking it's probably be like a 30 or 40 minute video. And I'm sorry, I just did it. You know, most people really like the Rays Fan Fest video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it turns out, and uh, I'll try to keep doing them. I'm not going to do them all the time, every time I go somewhere. Um, but maybe during the spring, I'll try and do some as much as I can. I, I feel like some of you folks that don't get to go to spring training might enjoy them. Just to kind of get to see how it works, how it is, and uh, what you have to go through. So, Anyway, appreciate you watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a good week. Be safe. And uh, that's all I got for you. Y'all take care. Don't know when I'm going to have another one for you. I needed to shoot my recap for the Gators the other day. Maybe I'll do that in a minute, too. Um, did really well there on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, take care guys. I'll, uh, not going to have anything coming to you IP wise here. Um, spring training wise for a little bit because I'll uh, work schedule and whatnot. I won't be able to make anything. So I'll get something when I can get it for you. Hope you enjoyed it again. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that Riley would tell you to do if she wasn't asleep. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care guys.